Now we'll update the permissions so that only users who belong to the members role can create issues. Use roles and permission and notification schemes. While you could assign permissions and notifications to users and groups directly, roles are more flexible and sustainable. Let's navigate back to the Planet App project. We'll go to Project Settings and the Permissions page. We'll click Actions, Edit Permissions and scroll down to the Create Issues permission. We'll click Edit and click Project Role and select Members and click Grant. Now we'll remove the development group, so we'll click Remove. We'll select the group development and click Remove. Now the JIRA administrator can associate this permission scheme with any project that has the same permission requirements. Now we'll add users to a project role. It's the responsibility of project administrators to add users to project roles. Back in our private window, we're logged in as Sophie Nguyen, the Project Administrator and Project Lead. We'll navigate to the Planet App Project. We'll go to Project Settings and the People page. We'll click Add People and we'll search for Lewis and Sophie. And in the Role drop-down, we'll select Members and click Add. We can now see that Lewis is on this page with the members role, and Sophie has two roles, administrators and members. Note that other projects who use the dev permission scheme can assign different users, or even groups, to their project's members role. We'll click Add People again. Note that you can enter an email address here. If the site administrator set users can invite others to on in the site access site administration page, then the project administrator can invite users to join the site and access the project. Even if the users can invite others setting is off, if the site administrator has allowed users from restricted domains to join the site, then the project administrator can invite users in those domains here. Let's cancel. Now let's verify our project role and memberships. We're now logged in as the JIRA administrator Dakota Jones. Here on the Dev Permission Scheme, we can go back to the Permission Helper, and first we'll check the permission for a user who's not a member of the Planet App project. We'll use Max Taylor. We'll select one of the issues from the Planet App project and we'll select the Create Issues permission and click Submit. And we can see that Max Taylor doesn't have the Create Issues permission. Now we'll do this again for Lewis, who is a member of the Planet App project. We'll click Submit again. And we can confirm that he does have the Create Issues permission because he's a member of the Members project role. Let's close this dialog. 